Hey y'all. Um, tis the season, right? Um, so when you're for truth, you have to be against tradition. That's the number one rule. You can't have any prior bias, any kind of comfort zone that, um, that isn't allowed to be broken through eventually. We all have our comfort zones. But after a while, once it starts growing on you, you understand how it's uncomfortable to be associated with all the historical uh, facts of Christmas and where it comes from. I mean, so right now it's December 24th at night, uh, 8.02 p.m. in Central Texas. Well, you know, it, we all know it's from the winter sol solstice sun worship, but specifically astrologically, it's uh, right now it's Capricorn. And Capricorn, I'm sure you already know my opinion if you kept up with me at all or just you know search on my uh channel in the search bar anyway capricorn is the goat okay the number one puppet jesus says the goats are in my left hand while the sheep are in my right i'm not saying all capricorns are evil i'm saying it's the time of sacrifice the capricorn their main verb is attainment i don't know how many times i've said that on my channel and it clearly shows whenever anyone has uh, a very strong Capricorn placement, like Mars or Moon or obviously Sun. So right now, the Sun, when you look up, it's in Capricorn. Behind the Sun right now is the constellation of Capricorn. It's ruled by, Capricorn, the sign is ruled by Saturn. Um, just take out that R, and there you go, uh, Satan. What's interesting about it is that in the Greek, the S-T-U-R-N, uh, all that adds up to 666. Saturn is the ringed planet. Um, a lot of people say the sun worship symbol is like a dot with a circle around it, just like in astrology, but they're saying it doesn't always represent the sun. In the old times, um, apparently Saturn was bright as bright as the sun. Isn't that crazy to think about? Uh, so they knew it was a ring planet. For some, it's the sixth planet from the sun. Um, it, uh, it has a hexagram on top of it, which is six sides. And, uh, wait, what was the last part? I can't remember. I wrote it down. Oh, yeah. Uh, the sixth day of the week is Saturday. Saturn day. Sunday is Sunday. Monday is moon day. Tuesday is actually Mars. Toes is a Mars um, word. Wednesday is Odin's day. That's why it's Wednesday. Doesn't sound like it's Odin's day. Um, Thursday is Thor's day. Friday's free a day for the fish, just like the Catholic bishops have that fish hat with the mouth open, while the KKK has the mouth closed, like the priests of Baal have white pointed hats and white robes, and set crosses on fire. I'm talking about the Old Testament, not Mississippi in 1920. Um, anyway, they just incorporated that into into today's culture and made it modern paganism and racism. So, so right now is the season of Capricorn. It's not when Jesus was not born in the winter. This is the time when the sun is darkened. They thought the sun was going away, so they had to do all these sacrifices and parties and festivals, eat, drink, and be merry. Um, merry actually means foolish. The root word is stupid. Uh, merry Christmas. Um, but it goes into the old deception part. Uh, anyway, so it's the time of Capricorn. I can say it for the fifth time. Uh, but in, during the winter, Jesus obviously couldn't have been born. And in the Old Testament, God already gave us a new year. Okay, and that's um, actually um, Aries. Everything corresponds to astrology. Um, and Jesus was not a Capricorn, as, <laughs> as opposed to this uh, country song that says Jesus was a Capricorn. I can't remember who wrote it. It was just so hilarious. He fulfilled the age of Pisces. Anyway, um, even the months, I mean, are from pagan ancestry. January is from Janus, the god, uh, pretty much Eros. Uh, February is Febrar, which is like the month of admiration or something, or, or literally romance. And once again, Roman Catholicism took the February lovemaking fertility festivals, and C Catholics made it into St. Valentine's Day. Okay, and there were two St. Valentine's Day uh, uh, priests or whatever who were beheaded, um, but we don't know which one was the actual one it was based off of. There's so much history behind that, too. Um, anyway... Where can I go? I can go anywhere. Um, I was talking about the days of the month. Well, June is from... Well, July is from Julius Caesar. Augustus is from uh, Augustine or whatever. Uh, Augustus Caesar, not Augustine. September is means seven. 
So that's why it's the ninth uh, month now. They've moved all the months two months back. So September has a root word of sept, which is seven, but it's the ninth month. So after September, October has a root word octagon, which is eight, but it's the tenth month once again. Okay, and then December, decimal, should be the tenth month, but it's the twelfth month. We've moved it all back to make it not incorporate into astrology. March is the first month because it starts Aries March 20th. Okay? It's to make you think the cycles are out of whack. Literally. And that is pretty whack. You know, they call it the ancient Yuletide Carol right now. The Yule is the fire log you set and then uh, you lit on fire and then the next day uh, <laughs> the burnt wood be would become a tree. Um, it's supposed to be the goddess Venus or Semiramis. And the, the tree, um, uh, Nimrod would come back on his birthday and put presents under it. You know, it's the tree that started in the garden. Eve was tempted by um, the tree worship, the apple on the tree. That's why Apple's logo has the apple bitten out of it. And the first iMac was $666. Um, but anyway, it, got, it all goes back to the bale and grove worship, the tree worship. Like literally worshiping a physical thing. And I know the earth, Mother Earth has life. But God created Mother Earth, okay? There's something way beyond, and nature is, is, has cycles and should be studied. But, you know, we just, we turn it into like a worship type thing. You know, our bodies are more spiritual than a tree, and then they're giving all this energy to a tree. Even if you're not doing it with bad intent, the energy is what you're still giving into that system, which is what God said, don't celebrate. And I don't know what to say. Um, Merry Christmas is also incorporates the idea of Mary, M-A-R-Y, into your brain subconsciously. That's how they do it. That's how the daughter of Babylon is. It's a fucking game. It's a joke. Okay, and the Mary worship was specifically negated in Luke eleven twenty seven. It says, A certain woman in the crowd stand, stood up and said to Jesus, Blessed are the paps which thou hast sucked, and, um, and the womb which you have come from. And Jesus said, Nay, rather, blesses the word of God and those who keep it. And then the Catholics, literally, I've seen, I've opened up a Catholic book. I have a video on it. And it said, it just had the quote, Blessed is the womb which thou hast came from. And then they don't give the rest when Jesus rebuked that woman. They make the quote stand alone so as if it sounds only like Jesus. And it's in a Mary worship book. That's just pure deception. That's pure lies. It's not a conspiracy. They're literally lying to you. Jesus negated that quote, blessed are the paps which thou hast sucked, and the womb which you came. He said nay. In the Greek, it's a negative um, participle. Monogamos. Anyway, it's it's even, <laughs> and the, the sucky part is you can Google it. You can Google it all right now, and we're just so ignorant. Like, can, you can Google the Rockefeller's address in New York is 666, and the Washington Monument is six, uh, it's not 666 feet high, but when you add the platform below it, it's 666 feet total, okay? The Washington Monument. And, it's, and you know, it's just sad because people in New York, they want to go to Broadway and be stars because they think L.A. and movies are fake. You're both fake. Where do you think the term Broadway comes from? It's the exact opposite of the Bible preaching the narrow way. Broadway means you want... You want the, the, the hard way out, but the easy way into the world. The Bible says, love not the world. It's not of the Father. Uh, it's just, and it's literally called Broadway. It's a, it's a conspiracy. We're supposed to go through the na uh, straight and narrow path. But these, these Illuminati elite people fuck with you. They make you think, oh, someone that smart and elite and uh, powerful wouldn't be joking around in such a way. Yes, <laughs> that's how they get their kicks is you, you sheep think they're, you know, all serious and just want money and are very stern. They're the ones having the orgies at Bohemian Grove. They're the ones partying harder than these rock stars and rap stars. It's weird they call them stars because that's part of the pagan worship of just worshiping the stars instead of the creator. Worshiping the creation. And that's, you know, I'm a creation. Worship me. God made me. No, you need to worship God, the unforeseen. Oh, I'm, I'm going to worship this, uh, these headphones. No, worship God who allowed you to create the headphones. Like, people want something solid because they just don't want to have an actual relationship with God. They want something that they can be told is yes or no. Sorry. 
I'm going to have to be a Nietzschean at this point and say it's all beyond good and evil. It's not black and white. You need a personal relationship with uh, the creator, okay? <laughs> I mean, even the HBO, the symbol of the HBO, the O itself is the sun worship. It's everywhere. Like, ah, you know? <laughs> um, but anyway, y'all have a good one. And realize that this is the Dark Ages. It wasn't just in the Spanish Inquisition when the Catholics were killing the Jews and real Christians who wouldn't take the Catholic Mass. This is the real Dark Ages, right now. There's more lies in ever than we think we're in heaven. That's even darker than just being in a shithole torture chamber. We're in the Matrix. It's disguised to be good, so it's an even greater danger to us all, okay? Jesus was not born December 25th. <laughs> what a joke. Hercules, Baal, Nimrod, Dionysus. Everyone else just happened to be born December 25th. So Constantine uh, amalgamated the Christianity with paganism and called it Catholicism. Catholic literally means to universalize. It's staring us right in the face. This is... This is, it's like a game because we're, we have to know what to look for. That's what a game is. All right. And it's, it ain't going to stop until God stops it. Okay. Okay. I'm done. Peace.